Hi folks, welcome to Merrily Merrowed. Uh, this is the part where I forget what I'm saying and today we are doing an impromptu something or other. Uh, but I'm going to try my best to structure these videos to where each video pairs with a, a craft, a project, a, a performance, or a, a who's or what's it. So today uh, I got the urge to dress like a Darla Dimple, but uh, I'm in makeup if my hair did. So we're gonna go out and we're gonna go mer. Um, I am currently kind of at a shortage for tops for um, my tails. So I figured I would whip up a top here. I've got one side made already. It's kind of a, uh, an afterthought that I probably should show people what I'm doing and how uh, I made it and what have you. But um, basically it's one of these, uh, it's like a self-stick bra here. And oh, it's got a sticky side and a non-sticky side. And these are um, strings of per plastic pearls and we're making this beautiful top. So I'm gonna show you, I've got one side done, I'm gonna show you how I did it on the other side. And uh, uh, then we are going to go find a beach to go uh, mer. It's gonna be an afternoon shoot. Um, I would say sunset, but it's summer and uh, sunset's gonna be later. And it is overcast today, but you know, it, 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 it has been so hot and I just recently got this, I don't know if you can see it, this lovely sunburn. And so, um, I'm glad that it is overcast and cooler and I think we can make use of that and have a good time. Uh, here's what I'm doing. Alright, I guess we're recording. So, uh, I've got my hot glue gun here trusty dusty hot glue gun which can uh, fix or make just about anything um, I love hot glue because it's cheap and it's versatile and whatnot so uh, I have basically strung these pearls we're, we're doing circles here with alternating colors I have a, a pearl and a gray it, but it doesn't show up as too much of a difference, so it'll be good to alternate them, have a little bit of that variance, but um, also have it be similar enough to where it won't draw attention. Right, right. Uh, this one, I'm, I'm still kind of filling in uh, some of the gaps in here with hot glue, so that hopefully it makes kind of a sturdier... Um, uh, uh, what am I, uh, not quite platform, but, uh, it makes it so that the pearls and the bra are all, uh, uh, amalgus, uh, amalgamated. Uh, one solid piece is what we're looking for, and, um, so kind of filling in some of these gaps. I do have a little bit of, uh, hot glue, like, stringies here, but you can remove those once it's all dry, and I don't think it makes a huge visual deal, um... So, we'll start by filling this in. I really do want to start at this juncture to uh, be more creative uh, with my mermaiding. I, I love the mermaid tails and everything, but as far as accessories go, uh, I. I've made a lot of my own in the past, but I think I, I tend to make it and then just reuse them until they fall apart, and uh, have not really finished any um, any pieces for any particular tale. I've started them and done a shoot in unfinished products, and then uh, I don't know why that's a thing. So uh, hopefully I can get a few of these. I have my, uh, my thin folk scale set aside. Uh, with the bra that I was making that's about half done. Now this, the only problem with this is that I was storing it uh, with them in there. With them in there, uh, with the cups turned into each other so that the sticky part was not, um, uh, 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 um, exposed. But with this, obviously, it's going to be a more solid structure, so we're just going to go and get some uh, some wax paper, some saran wrap, and give that a layer uh, to protect 
the adhesive. Already I really like uh, the look of this. I'm hoping that it is sturdy enough to where I don't get to the shoot and then all the pearls start popping off and you're like, oh shit. And that that's my impression of the situation. I don't want that to happen. <laughs> so hopefully this stays together and the thing that would probably cause that is that there's like a layer of paint on these pearls, or at very least the white ones. Uh, and um, if the hot glue gets attached to the paint and not the actual plastic, then it could be a problem. So I've tried to, to uh, put in a layer here over the, um, the string that it's on. And so the, the entirety of it is kind of encased uh, as much as possible without covering the look of the pearls. And it could be, I'm gonna wear this as is today, but it could be that I go over with a paint and uh, reinforce that so it doesn't, um, maybe, uh, since it's gonna be kind of more of a solid piece, I can go over that with a Mod Podge or something like that to seal it. That was a long explanation. So this here, um, we've got a lot uh, I'm gonna do this a little bit different than uh, on the last time by reinforcing it beforehand. But we have a string of the regular pearls, so next we're gonna do a string of these silver pearls here. And what I've been doing is just kind of placing one in there while the hot glue is still wet and holding it to secure it until it dries and then I'll add another layer of hot glue like this and start stringing these pearls. On these ones I did like a dot of glue and held them in individually but then I had to go in and refill it so we're just gonna do uh, big globby layers and, and hope for the best. Is still drying so I'm gonna kind of hold it in place but every time you do that you get these little stringies and uneven hot glue so I'm just gonna let it dry but ultimately there's the final product um, pretty easy to make uh, I would say it's cheap but I mean, definitely cheaper if you bought this on Etsy, it would be at least like, uh, at least 50 bucks. Uh, so 30 bucks for a bra. No, that's that's not true, because the top that I saw that I, I kind of was inspired by um, was like 150, 120, something like that. So it was this. And maybe we'll, uh, we'll attach a little things, but they kind of had little, little dudes that, that went like that, right? Um, and that could be really cute. Yeah, so... Maybe we'll make little attachments for that as well. Alright, um... Aside from the ridiculous tan here, uh, it, it's pretty cute. Uh, it fits relatively well. I am definitely gonna want to like. Uh, I worry about how long it would stay like this if it had a bit more flexibility and hold uh, without the pearls on it, just because of of the weight and stiffness. I uh, it it kind of is reacting differently with the, uh, I have to duct tape them up, you see. Uh, uh, so it's reacting differently with the duct tape, 
but ultimately it achieves that look that I like that is um, the classic mermaid where just the cups are, are covered and oh no my coffee wine oh so we're gonna do I want to say a, a Hollywood uh, themed shoot but we're gonna go for that old classic Hollywood look right um, since we've already got that shit going on so now it is uh, three o'clock and we're gonna have to find some place uh, we're going to get to find some place to go and murk this also like makes me <laughs> anyway anyway uh, I'm gonna go finish getting ready and then we're gonna go somewhere and have some fun so I've reached the point in the day when uh, the excitement to Mur has, has worn off and it's gotten too late and now I, I'm like it's about three o'clock and I'm, I'm tired and hungry <laughs> and so uh, I'm doing a second pour on my coffee over there and we're gonna go to Cottonwood Beach because it is the only beach um, not actually on the Oregon coast that is nearby enough for us to drive uh, it is uh, technically in Washington so I'm looking forward to the tra traffic on that bridge and whoever's screaming out there um, my neighbor seems on patrol so um, so we're gonna go out there we're gonna go Beach. That's what I do. I'm like wrestling with this technology so hard, uh, trying to set up my camera, uh, my GoPro, in the car. Also, I just wanted to like, what is this music? I like it. Alright, so, uh, I just had the craziest uh, interaction. Again. So What's I'm Razor oh, oh. Robin. No, like IPA. Hi. <laughs> Alias Felon Fucking Heller. Ah. And I approve of this ad by <laughs> my lovely minion, who's not a crack hoe. Uh, Okay, so we're here. Uh, this is uh, Captain William Clark Park, which I guess a lot of this is uh, out of like the Lewiston Clark Trail. Uh, it says at Cottonwood Beach. I bet this sign would probably tell you more about it than I am capable of, but it is beautiful already, surrounded by this nice wooded area. Oh, it just tells you about the beach. Oh. They have all these boats. Which are uh, kind of cool, but... Beautiful. A lot of people here, but not uh, not as many as uh, there were. I went to a beach on the Fourth of July and had a weird experience. So maybe I'll post that. But the Fourth came and went, so I didn't. Uh, I didn't 
like I said, but maybe we will. I know that was weird, so maybe we won't. <laughs> um, also, the first part of it, I was getting ready in my dressing room as I wanted to do in these videos, and then, uh, you know, not clad as I should be, I guess. And uh, then I went to the 4th of July, and all of my family members and everybody out there uh, get together, started talking about I'm mermaiding in my YouTube channel, which is really sweet, but uh, now they all know to go there. And I gotta put a top on, so, uh, oh, I feel about that, guys. That means they're free. <laughs> what I'm looking for, free ring, free ring. It's not real right. I think that's what Jane called it. So we're gonna post up camp over here. That looks nice. Oh, how pretty. Maybe I'm just a dope that I don't know why, but some of the sand here is black. It's beautiful. Probably a decent reason for it that is, I don't know, pooch or something like that, but I think it is really gorgeous. not get my footprints all over the sand, but as we're scoping, it's lovely too. Kids are kind of running up and down, so I probably will stay in my little like cove that I found, but not in the cove, not the cove, in, in the I also think that not homeless man was making fun of me in my makeup, but we're not going to judge him. He told me many times I looked beautiful, even if he was laughing at me, which was very nice. But uh, to be fair, the lighting in my bathroom and the lighting in the hot day's sun are uh, slightly different, so I don't... It's not bad, and it has to be stage makeup y to, uh, in order to, to pick up on photos, but definitely, like, looks wrinkly. It's just, like, getting old. We're not gonna look at that anymore. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take some photos. We're gonna do a thing, okay? Hamstring stretches, man, those, those gotta be a thing. 
I say this in like all of my videos. <laughs> This is a lot less awkward uh, when you're here taking pictures versus me taking pictures and videos of myself. I was taxiing, I was gonna go down here for a while. <laughs> His top is not staying on. Uh, it... <laughs> Alright, um, I didn't bring an alternate. <laughs> Probably won't end poorly like every other time. <laughs> I can't see. Hi. I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> Not even a little is what this is.
苦労するタイムを使いなくてもいいのになって。お、あれ、おいしいです。<笑>ここで。Thank you, thank you for joining me on、uh, this. Uh, yeah, well, anyway, I, I, I better go before this piece of technology stops uh, uh, working as well. So,、uh, thank you for joining me and have a wonderful evening. s l a m
to drown, I'm just gonna get water at my I have my lotion. But anyway, I'm in the water. I'm gonna wrap this little film over here. Actually, swimming alone is very dangerous. Don't do it, kids. Weird fucking town. I guess it's not that way. I, I'm, I'm walking up from the beach, and there is seriously been like like dozens of people just running. Um, I don't know. It, it's like a group of lots of people. I mean, like, I guess this is a thing <laughs> that typically happens uh, in outdoor areas, but it's like, what event did I just walk into? It's not a one scene like that. It's, a, it's some sort of marathon. Um, there's a lot of people participating in it, but I can't really be the one to say that they're the weirdos when I'm uh, here in clown makeup and no shoes. Nine dollar chocolate bar? Who the fuck? Nine dollar <laughs> fucking chocolate bar. Get three it for a dollar over Friday. <laughs> Not anymore, because we're in COVIDville. <laughs> now, Portland, Oregon is the same place you could go to any Starbucks. Founded where she's from in Seattle, Starfox. I managed to get kicked out of every fucking Starbucks in PDX. Some accomplishment. Here I go like this. Anyway, so what you should know about that is they, they didn't like my idea. I rolled in there and I go, look, I just got in from Afghanistan. They got this great grin. They go, well, what is this? It's called the COVID cooler. You cough in the, they cough in the cup. They put in three shots of sanitizer. I said, put some moonshine. I got to get that motherfucker in there. I got to brought my own moonshine. Shit goes south. Police show up. No more COVID coolers. They go, do you want that on ice or nitro? I go, fuck you. And I knock over the side. 